Yeah. Got Satan in the back of the police car. Didn't know nothing about a guitar. All I know was a bass guitar. And song Bruce was playing. I was sitting back there, man, I need a bass. I can match the cake the way that man was. Anyway, Lord gave me the talent to play this guitar. I was looking at 66 years in prison without a possibility of parole. A $10 million fine. But you know, the Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ, spoke to me. I have a plan for your life. You just set me and obey me. So you know, I did that. God really did have a plan for my life. God sent me back into the neighborhood where I was carrying all the drugs out of Georgia back into North Carolina. The first church we sung at, I could throw a rock into that house. And I was obeying the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Then He showed me a vision of the church that we was going to be singing in. I don't know if you to believe in obedience or not from God. I do. I was sitting on the couch and God showed me a vision. And it come to pass. We walked into that church. But in this vision, the right hand side was full. But the left hand side was empty. And it was the Atlanta market I was tied up with them. And a main drug dealer's come in and sit down. I seen every one of them get saved. Amen. So in this vision, we went into this church. And I was eight of them, what I said. I was eight of them. Came into that church and said to Christ that night. That's what kind of that's what kind of God we serve. Amen. If we just obey him when he speaks. But don't get me wrong, I was hard headed a lot of times. I think Bruce can admit that. I, I was hard headed. But, uh, you know, God loved me and he stuck with me. I owe him everything. I better hug Bruce and let him sing. I just love this man back here. You have to pray for him. You have to really pray for him through the week. He's a good man. Pray for him. More you pray for him better he will be able to teach because the Holy Ghost will really fill his cup up. And he can give some good teachings. He's gave me a lot of good teachings. I've learned a lot yes, sir. from Bruce and his family. I'm going to say this and I'm going to hush. Katie was a singing that song. It touched me, baby. I watched these kids grow. I call them my baby girls. For them, I'm their uncle. They was with us last weekend. Katie said, Larry, what was it really like out there on the road? You know, Bruce, I couldn't answer her. Because I didn't want her to know. I didn't, I didn't, want, I didn't want you to know how crazy it was, how, how stupidity I was. Only thing I said, if I had to do over again, I'd do it different. Amen. That's the reason I didn't talk to you about it, Katie. Because I'm embarrassed of myself. So you just keep praying for me. Amen.